Um, Minister, I welcome the opportunity this evening to speak about the proposed local community safety partnership pilot that you announced uh, last week to take place in Dublin's north inner city, Longford, and in my own constituency of Waterford. It represents the implementation of some of the recommendations of the Commission of the Future of Policing in Ireland and is a welcome signal of intent by this government. Specifically, I would reference Recommendation 5, which states that policing partnerships should include the business community, voluntary organisations, faith-based groups, schools and others who can contribute to community safety. And Recommendation 22, which states that the building of genuine community partnerships should be a requirement for all Garda districts. These recommendations are important in that they acknowledge the deeply integrated role that our Gardaí play within local communities. Our policing model has long been based on consent and consensus, and it's a matter of pride to me that we in Ireland have one of the very few unarmed police forces in the world. Cuts made to community policing in the past have, at times, threatened to sever that connection, particularly in disadvantaged communities. And so I hope this pilot represents a step change in how we do things, placing community safety at the core of our policing model. I very much welcome Waterford's inclusion in this pilot. In many ways, Waterford, the Waterford constituency is the country in microcosm. We are Ireland's oldest city with many vibrant urban communities, but we are all, also a rural constituency, from towns and villages to people living in very isolated settings. We are also a Gaeltacht constituency, and we know that there are specific challenges and specific deficiencies within our police force in terms of providing a policing service As such, our community safety concerns span the full range, from antisocial behaviour in disadvantaged communities to the issues of rural crime and the anxiety experienced as a consequence by many living in isolated rural settings. But this also presents a challenge, and I worry slightly when I see in the department's briefing notes the mention of local community singular safety plan. Minister, I don't know how well you know Waterford, but there's a world of difference between Ballybricken and Ballymacarbury, or between Tremor and Tallow. We may be one county and one constituency, but we are many and diverse communities. So I hope that any safety plan drawn up by the proposed new partnership will be flexible enough to reflect that. Also, we like our JPCs. I was honoured to serve on ours in Waterford for the short time that I was a councillor. It has its flaws as a system, but we know it and we trust it. I hope that this pilot model can be as inclusive as, inclusive as our joint policing committee and allow for the plurality of voices at the table. And Minister, that brings me to the composition of the local uh, community safety partnership. I welcome the fact that community representatives will have a working majority, as it were, and that this will include, among others, representatives of new and minority communities, as well as youth voices. However, there will be a need as well, as I alluded to before, to strike a balance between urban and rural concerns, and I would welcome the opportunity to examine the exact mechanism by which we, we hope to ensure an appropriate mix. And Minister, I am concerned also that there may be a diminution of the role of elected representatives in this reconfiguration. As I said, I served on my own JPC and was one of 15 councillors to do so, and the door was always open to Oireachtas members to attend as well. If councillors are to be counted on the agency side of the equation of these proposed partnerships, that may well reduce their participation to four or five representatives. It would be a challenge in that context to ensure a broad base of representation, both in terms of geography and in terms of political outlook indeed. And as with any such in initiative minister, funding is crucial. I do think this pilot has the potential to bring about positive changes in our communities, but will have to be, it will have to be adequately resourced in order to do so. These concerns notwithstanding, Minister, I do very much welcome this pilot scheme, as have any of the officials and elected representatives I have spoken with in Waterford. As mentioned, we are the ideal testing ground with urban, suburban, rural and Gaeltacht contexts within the one constituency. I look forward to working with the Minister and indeed with community representatives and elected representatives in Waterford to make a success of this project and to improving community safety outcomes across our county. Good morning. Good morning.